Hello, thank you very much for joining me today. It's really good to see you. It is the weekend. I have got a passion fruit martini in my hand. This one isn't from M&S. It came recommended to me from a new friend that I made online on Instagram. So hi, Shah. And um, it's from Aldi. So it doesn't come in a can or in a bottle. It comes in like, what kind of, how can I describe it? Like a little kind of foil packet. So you can kind of squish it and stick it in your freezer and it freezes and then like literally before you're about to drink it 15 minutes or so bung it in the fridge and then you can kind of have it as an iced cool drink mine's completely melted but it's really nice if you like a sweet drink you like um passion fruit martinis and cocktails like that definitely go check out the aldi range i wanted to tell you actually i've been away for a couple of days and i went to portsmouth and if you go to gun wharf keys they have like a, a shopping outlet they've got lots of like really nice brands and they also have a cosmetic store so i went in there and i could believe my eyes when I saw that they had Tom Ford and it's been a long time actually since I bought anything makeup wise and because I have a whole like tower here full of makeup and lipsticks and stuff anyway I picked up this Tom Ford lipstick love the packaging look at it white and gold it's so luxe and I've got it on my lips today so it's kind of like a corally red color and it's called the Mepri 03 but if you look at it in the bullet it's really kind of bright a little bit intimidating when you put it on it's so, oh, better not do it full whack, um, it's so pretty on, it's kind of like a a bright coral, there you go, a bit more intense there. I think RRP on this was £40 and I got it for £14.50, so that's just so cheap. So let's dive into this unboxing, I do have the Louis Vuitton standard kind of shop bag that come with all of the boxes, I'm just going to pop that on the floor. And then today's box is actually bigger than usual because I have got a bigger bag. So let's open her up. And actually this was attached to the ribbon and it's just the kind of like care booklet. There's all kind of um, stuff in there. Here we go. This is the inside. And inside I have the wow, beautiful, really beautiful Louis Vuitton Bella tote bag. And I just love how this is a really nice alternative to the traditional um, canvas monogram bag. So this is actually Mahina calf leather, so it's leather. And I love how subtle actually the monogramming is on here. It's not kind of in your face. It's perforated into the leather. And if you hold the bag back here, it doesn't kind of scream and it isn't as loud as the normal traditional monogram canvas. So I really like that about this. It's kind of more subtle. It's very, very chic. Leather feels so supple. It's kind of like quite a soft bag. I quite like how this is just really, just lovely, lovely to touch. It's really supple. It's not overly soft because it will kind of hold its shape if you're going to stand it up but it's not kind of rock solid hard and so you've got the two little kind of top handles just here you can carry the bag in the crook of your arm you also have the option of not just one strap but two straps so there is a longer detach um, not detachable yes it is detachable so um detachable strap just here there's a little buckle which connects it to the main um part of the bag in the middle so a detachable and a dust adjustable um, strap. You can wear it cross body and you can be hands free. Then you also have the option of a kind of on the shoulder. So this is just wearing on the shoulder and I love this chain. So it's a really beautiful kind of twisted chain um, intertwined with leather and silver hardware. So you can just wear that like this love that love how easy it is you actually have three ways of wearing this which is super kind of versatile and gives you lots of options a great thing about these straps is that if you wanted to just wear the shoulder one you could remove the other long one and vice versa so you could wear them and have them hooked on together or just wear one and take off the other one and keep that in storage i don't know if it's that vodka but i'm having a hot flush even though they call this colour cream, I wouldn't say it's like a creamy white colour, it's more like a creamy beige. And I actually think this is one of the few bags that I have that has silver hardware. And I like that it has the kind of cool toneness in the hardware. It's a really nice contrast, it makes the bag more modern. There's also, like on the Neverfalls, um, a leather drawstring just here. So you could probably tighten up the bag just to add a little bit more security. Let's quickly have a look at the bottom of the bag. So there are um, protectors on here, which is really good. If you put your bag down, you know it's not going to scrape the leather at the bottom because it's going to sit 
on these little kind of silver stars. I'm not going to remove the protectors, but like with these non-retail bags, I do appreciate how well packaged they come to you. So all of the handles, this one, this one, the long one as well, was all um, had that kind of foamy protector on it, as well as the draw strength as well. So for me, with the non-retail bags, they come really well packaged, and you know that the hardware is going to arrive in like pristine condition. So let's have a look inside, and it has a kind of brown microfiber lining and actually you can see the other side of the perforation of the LV and the fleur-de-lis so that's really nice I really am enjoying how functional this is so you've got compartments here it's not just one big um, bottomless pit you've got one either side here and then you have a middle compartment which has a double zip really nice zips I'm going to show you those in a minute so you just open it up and you have a middle compartment just there. I would actually put my keys, my phone, and like my valuables in the middle, um, just because it has that zip closure. And actually in the middle pocket, there is a little care booklet. And you know what, I really love how wide you can open this bag up. There's nothing worse than when you have these bags and they have really tight openings and you're kind of rummaging around and you can't even see. So I just love how you can go, ta-da and see everything. And it's gonna be really great to access all of your belongings look at the engraving on the zips they look really good and then i don't know if my camera is going to be able to pick this up but you do have the louis vuitton embossing on the mahina leather i've just had a look on the louis vuitton website and checked the alignment of the monogramming on here it is perfect the stitching is also excellent it's straight it's neat there's um you've got the t bar stitching just here on either side where the straps attach the main straps to the bag which is also correct I also just checked as best as i could the grommets on here so the engraving of the louis vuitton is very very close i couldn't actually spot a difference and also on the buckles you do have lv embossed on the hook so let's do the sniff test oh yeah oh yeah this smells really good it just smells of leather pure unadulterated leather it's a really beautiful smell and it hasn't got any foo-foo smell or anything kind of chemically or fragranced it's really beautiful to sniff <laughs> I thought it'd be useful for you to see what the Bella Tote looks like next to the Neverfull GM and the Neverfull MM. It's actually more comparable with the MM size. The MM is still a little bit taller and a little bit wider. So that's what it looks like against the Neverfulls. I think it's going to be a great option for summer. I am going to be able to get in um, all of my essentials, plus some snacks and nappies for Cleo, my water bottle. So it is super duper functional. I love how subtle it is for Louis Vuitton and Monogram. It can be quite shouty and in your face. I don't feel like this is. It's very, very sophisticated. Um, but it's also not too smart where that leather is a little bit more supple. It feels a little bit more casual, a bit more relaxed. I am loving this silver hardware. I feel like it's so unique. I don't, actually, maybe the Louis Vuitton, the new um, season Capucines, they have this kind of twisted leather and hardware kind of strap and I love it. I think for me I'm probably going to make the most use out of this strap just because it's so pretty and it is very 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 cool that's what it looks like on my frame so I am a size 12 I am five foot three I had to think about how tall I am there and isn't she going to be fab for summer what a beautiful gorgeous 
um, bag. When you're wearing and when you're rocking this bag, um, I definitely feel it's about how confident you are holding and carrying and enjoying your bag. And I think if you love it, you should wear it, enjoy it and use it. I am really impressed with the quality. I've literally got every detail spot on. And if you want to know where I get my bags from, give me a follow, a like and a DM on Insta. We can chat over there. If you enjoy these types of videos, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, it means you'll see more of the new bags that I'm getting in. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Lots of love. Bye bye.